Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of our Living with Jesus series. Today, I have with me Rabbi Gabriel. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Yes, I'm. Uh, this is we've mentioned just before. This is my first time interviewing a rabbi, and so I'm very intrigued and excited to just learn more about you and more about your story and just where Jesus fits in with all of this. So we met at a like a living with Jesus round table, and so as soon as I heard you speak, I'm like, ah, oh, brother, thank you. I want to hear more. So I'm just grateful to be here with you today. So let's just dive into our first question and see where it takes us. Um, but it just, it's very open-ended. Just talk to me about Jesus. Like, how do you see him? Like, who is he to you? Okay. So first of all, I, I want to say, Hashalom Aleichem wa Rahmat wa Peace, blessings of God and his, his mercy be upon us all. Uh, and thank you for having me and asking those questions because we rabbis and especially Orthodox rabbis are, aren't that 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 many times interviewed about, about well, you know, what who, how how do we live with this Jesus concept? Yeah. Let's say, let's say it first. So the, for 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 me, there's in 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 what Christians say uh, they call Jesus. For me, there are many uh, more many many parts. First of all, there's the I would say the the historical Jesus, who is a rabbi, who is a fellow rabbi. Uh, he was a, um, a spiritual teacher, uh, awakened person, and was close to be a kind of a prophet at his time. There's the messianic figure also, um, as a messiah, for especially for his disciples, because uh, as, as you may know, every spiritual master is kind of a messiah for he, he, his or her disciples. and uh there's the, the thing about being god being the, the an incarnation of god so there are three different things that exist in our you know spiritual you know mystical tradition but they are not always personified by in in this 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 figure that is that you, you the Christian, christians call jesus so that 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 would be who is Jesus for me? So for me, especially the the person that I relate to is the spiritual teacher, the mystical, the mystical rabbi that 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 was Jesus, that was historical. Especially that I come from a mystical tradition, and we have a kind of a, a chain of a, a lineage of of transmission, and that comes from disciple to masters, and so on and so on, and that goes up to Moses, Moses, our Moshe Rabbeinu, our teacher, our master. A prophet, and uh, it, it is said in in uh, among our, our, our spiritual lineage that uh, Jesus was in this this uh, this uh, let us say this school of, of of mystics that that we follow. Mm -hmm. So, I, for this, I I kind of I'm close to Jesus, mm -hmm. and there's also the the the, the archetypal Jesus that. Uh, that is uh, the embodiment of God. I mean, the incarnation of God in humankind, and uh, and for me, that is something that exists. That we live, we live it as 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 uh, as mystics, and that's something I I knew I touched. You know, I touch it by 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 a personal experience when I had communion for the first time. You know, I ate the the, the how do you say in English the, the, the Eucharist. Yeah, the you yeah exactly exactly so. So I, uh, I was invited by, by a, a friend who is a spiritual master and a, and a monk, and a Catholic monk. And uh, it was an open table, an open Eucharist. And, uh, and uh, so I was invited to, to eat the, 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 the holy, holy hostie. I don't know how you say that. In French, it's called hostie. Anyway, so I ate it and, uh, and I drank the wine. So I ate. Christ's body and drunk Christ's blood but anyway but uh, you know on the on the symbolic and mystical side and I had a very deep mystical experience and a deep union with with the archetypal Christ you know as the embodiment of God through Jesus so I had this you know this kind of personal 
like realization, I don't, I don't know how to say, or, or apparition, or I don't know. Anyway, something oh, that like that. Uh, you know, I can relate you know, with a lot of love and light, and especially the uh, uh, kind of a re special relation with Jesus' heart, you know, mm. as this, this all, all, all loving, all including heart that loves all humankind. Anyway, so that's, mm. that's my, my experience with the archetypal Jesus, which is, which is for the Jewish tradition. We don't need it. We don't talk about it. We don't, but it exists, you know, every, every archetype in, in the mystics in, front, in every, uh, that I would say every human family, they, they follow their own archetypes and they exist, you know, and on, on the spiritual uh, side, on a spiritual uh, level. And uh, we can col collect with it, uh, even if we don't, if we don't belong to this specific tradition, but of course, it's it. Those traditions are like a, any any spirituality is for all humankind. So they are for everybody. Like miracles, you know, miracles yeah. are for all, all humankind. Yeah. It's not because a miracle happened for for a Christian that is a Christian miracle. No, it's a it's a godly miracle and it's for all humankind. Yes. Uh, I love first of all your just inclusive perspective and your open mindedness to just kind of like go where you're sent in a sense and like have experiences like you did with the Catholic faith, even though it's, you know, outside your, your typical tradition. And yeah, cause I can, I completely agree with everything you're saying <laughs> so far, which is a beautiful thing. And, you know, I, I, I'm really just grateful to hear all this and maybe this does lead us into the next question, which you, you, you said you had a mystical experience with Jesus, which I think is relatable to a lot of um, many listeners anyway, um, including myself. But would you say that that changed your perspective on things around Jesus or, or around Christ? Like, did it change how you kind of lived in your life and in your faith? Was there anything that kind of came as the effect of that? It, it, it didn't change my, my own faith because I'm a mystic. So, I mean, I, I live with God every, any time and, uh, you know, I... I'm always on live both 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 aspects of the same coin, which is the relative and the absolute at the same time. So mm -hmm. so it, it uh, what change what it changed for me is how Christians can can relate to Christ. You know, okay. uh, and for me it was a, a deep understanding. You know, through experience, uh, uh, and it was a gift. You know, a godly yeah. gift. Anyway, so you know, okay, that's when Christians talk about Jesus. And about like a mystical experience, a revelation of Jesus, you know, that's what they are talking about, you know. And I had that, I, I took communion like three more times. So, okay. so I'm a, I'm a young Christian, if you, if you ah! so, this level, you know. So, anyway, but you know, and every each and every time there was a, a very deep, deep mystical experience on this level, okay. and uh, so, so, so I say, okay, it exists. Because mm -hmm. you, you may you may know that uh, we 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 can't really judge another religion or another spiritual spiritual tradition because you we use our own concepts and and you know, by example for Orthodox Judaism uh, um, uh, like Christianity is kind of a, a heathen thing you know because there are statues there are like a Trinity and and so on and so on and so on so, on. so if I used only my my mind. Uh, and my, my my conceptual mind, you know, I would say, okay, it's not a religion or it's not even a spirituality. But when you kind of open and say, okay, God gave every human family a, a path to 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 like elevate oneself towards this 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 Godhead, and uh, so when you are in this open heart, and then you 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 may be able to 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 touch the the the, the spiritual experience that everyone has. Uh, in in every tradition, so I, you know, I as a spiritual, uh, I would I come I, as a mystic. I I went to many many. Uh, I travel around the world, and I, I I you know I I kind of went to wanted to experience every every tradition, spiritual tradition, you know, to experience really. So I had many many experiences, and uh, this way this is for the for. Like this Jesus experience for me was was really like an opening to understand Christianity in general and, and Catholicism in particular. I mean, OK, this is this, uh, this is very real and this is very beautiful. And I understand that 
people are in love with Jesus, are in love with Christ, and they receive like a lot of blessings, and it's a source of blessing for all humankind. So I mean, it's it's perfect in this this sense for me. It was a, an opening. Oh, this is so beautiful, and and I feel like there's so much to extract from what you're sharing. And I think the main thing is that if we just come with an open heart to our different brothers and sisters who come from different faiths mm -hmm. and religions, that we can allow ourselves the opportunity to have an experience that teaches us why they may do particular things or believe in particular mm -hmm. things. And I feel like that is the most charitable, like inclusive, um, like loving approach that we can take to each other on different paths, because it's true. Like I may not understand your religion, but I want to. And so like when I come with an open heart, it gives me the opportunity to have the experience that yeah. allows me to better understand my fellow brother. Exactly. And you know, and that, that there's a, there's, there's an experience. Um, so the sociologists, I mean, uh, anthropologists, when mm -hmm. they go to tribes and, uh, you know, very remote, uh human families in the world they 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 use um what what is called a, a kind of a, a circle of colors you know yeah all the colors are like uh, mm -hmm. the, the blue the the red and the yellow and all the colors in between mm -hmm. and and it, it, each and every culture they 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 kind of of uh, they name the colors differently like mm -hmm. some cultures like in europe we we name a uh, the, we, we cut the, the, the circle about the same way. So there's an orange and, and blue and red and, and purple and so on and so on. But some some cultures, by example, in old the old Semitic cultures, uh, uh, yellow and green was we were calling it the same the same name. There's, for us, it's one color. Oh. So so there's there's yellow like a leaf, like so it's green, and the yellow like gold, and which which is yellow. Okay, so but this, this, for us it's yellow. We call it yellow, and so on and so on. So so it, it, every every human family they, they cut the circle, like they they put concepts like in different places. Mm. Okay, but anatomically, you know, on on an anatomic level, we see colors exactly the same because we are built the same way. Yeah. But culturally, we we kind of cut like give a, a name of a color. It's not exactly the same. Some cultures mm -hmm. are close, some cultures are very, very far away. And on a spiritual level, it's exactly the same because we are only one human nature. Be, be, be our color, whatever, be our language, whatever, be our, be our religion, whatever. The, we, we share the same human nature, which is at God's image. Mm -hmm. And we share, and uh, spirituality is the, is the same. It exists for all. So, our experience is always the same, but then according to our religion and our culture, we don't put exactly the same words at the same place. Right. So our concepts are sometimes different. Yeah. Sometimes they're kind of are close, by example, between spiritual Judaism and spiritual Islam, it's very close because we share, we come from a, a Semitic background and we come from the Middle East and, and we share many things. The only difference is the language, but, mm. but we are very, very similar. And and the more you are far away, the more it's different, you know. And it's it, for me, it was very uh, deep for me. It was very important to experience how Christians they 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 they, they experience uh, spirituality through Christianity, not right. through um, something else. So so yes. that's why I just wanted to yeah to, yeah to share that. That is a great visual too. And that almost points to um, just kind of the, my, my learning background is that when we allow ourselves to, for a moment, even just temporarily to step outside of our own like definitions and words that we would put on things like mm -hmm. calling yellow, yellow or green, you know, um, mm -hmm. it gives us the opportunity to see the sameness that is underneath and be like, oh, wait a minute, maybe we don't actually disagree as much as we thought we did. We're just using different words for what we're seeing. Well, the and same I, thing. Yeah, for the same thing, exactly. So that's that's fantastic. Uh, usually, I say I say uh, when you know, when when you have some kind of round tables, you know, speak, mm -hmm. uh, interface uh, round tables, and and the, the the imam speaks, and then the swami speaks, and then the 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 priest speaks, and I say you know, I will say exactly the same thing with different words. Right, <laughs> exactly. Not, we all agree, you know. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. Yes. Okay, so I'm not sure if this next question, um, we'll just see how it plays out. Um, but I, I'm curious, like, do you, do you include 
Jesus in your everyday kind of life and work? Is he like an active part of your daily living now? Or is it kind of like now you just have a, a greater understanding, but you have different practices? And if so, I would love to know. But yeah. yeah. How does that look okay, for you? So, so as a, as a daily thing, no, because I mean, not not the Jesus as the personal, but if you if you like uh, use the the Christian concept that Jesus equals God, so he, uh, is God part of my 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 life? Yes, it's the center of my life. So I mean, I mean, I, I breathe God, I eat God, I listen God, you know, I see God, everything is God. So uh, so I'm into this, and so I, I'm. God, Godding, Godding. <laughs> because like God that. is a verb, you know. I'm Godding, you know, like uh, trying to 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 act, you know, godly yeah. in, into this 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 being, you know, as to serve because because God is the ultimate servant, you know, yeah. and uh, we serve. We're here to serve. We're on the the bottom, and and we serve, and we we're here to elevate everybody, and 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 so on. This this is my life. So I gave my life to humankind. And this is what I do. I teach, I counsel, and uh, you know, and I I feed also because I cook and and so on and so on. So I mean, I mean, this this is this is what we do. You know, we are kind of like like priests because it's it said in the Torah, we Mamlechet Kohanim. You you will be for me like a a, a nation of priests. So mm-hmm. the, what the priest does, he, he, the priest serves. So we are at the service of God. Yeah, like in in a vertical way, but horizontally, we are a service of of humankind and creation. So, uh, so for me, it's it's central. And Jesus was the embodiment, the incarnation of that. So, I mean, I kind of, uh, uh, you know, if if you would you would like see me or, or, or put some some concept on me, which you would be Christian, I would be I'm Jesusing. You know, I'm Jesus. kind of. <laughs> You know, I yeah, I kind of do. do I, I I'm doing. I, I do Jesus work in this world. You know, as we should all do. You know, yeah. because this is how you put light and and love and compassion and and any anything into into what's beautiful blessings in this world. And um, this is it. Oh, oh my goodness! Yes, I've said almost the exact same words talking about different concepts. I feel like use the same concepts of like I'm here to be of service to humanity. Like I, I'm, I'm a servant. I'm here to serve, and I will serve, you know, horizontal, vertically as well as horizontally. That's just mm-hmm. what my whole life is about, and and so I. I I'm resonating with everything you're saying, but in this context, maybe do share with me a little bit more about what does a typical day look like in your faith? Like, do you, is there certain prayers that you do every day? Does it look different every day? Um, wh- what does that look like for you? Well, the, the, you know, the, the, the mystic, the, the mystic does exactly the same thing like every, every other human being, but we do it with a, a certain, a certain intention that is different with who we, we kind of put some some consciousness into into what's in like we we're there we're just we just be we're, we're into being yeah there's nothing to act nothing to do nothing to to have and we just be so everything that we do we do it in conscience mm. like within this this consciousness of, of of god and this godly consciousness and this is it you know this no that I would say nothing more. But about prayer, about prayer, you know, you know, Jesus was asked by his, by, by his disciple, you know, give oh master, give, give us a prayer that we we may we may be able to pray, mm. which is our Lord's our Lord's prayer. Right. And um, and it's but for me, uh, I think it's a it's a it's a good gift to human to, to humanity to because. Uh, it's a beautiful prayer. It's mm-hmm. very Jewish. It's a totally, completely Jewish prayer. Uh, we were, uh, um, an articulation, you know, an opening, a middle, and 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 a conclusion. And uh, it's very similar to to our liturgical prayers and and uh, other prayers that we we may have in, throughout our history. So it's very Jewish, mm-hmm. and at the same time, you know, it has been. I think you know, as a, as also a, as a linguist and as a, a, as a lover of Semitic languages, uh, it has been not very well translated. You know, sure. when you translate something, you lose something, mm-hmm. and that's why in, in in Judaism we use Hebrew as as our liturgical language because we don't want mm-hmm. to translate it 
you know yeah. you know it's better to make the effort to 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 learn hebrew and to try to understand the depth of of every word that we say in the in the prayers or when we read the torah uh instead of translating and losing things and i i i, I do i do believe my my christian sisters and brothers did, did you know they okay it was okay to translate but they 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 they, they didn't use the Not original the and the original is very important i wrote a I wrote a book about it in Italian uh, like three years ago. Anyway, oh, wow. so the 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 Lord's Prayer, it, the original, I think I do believe you know as, as a learned person that is it, the original is in Aramaic, mm -hmm. and it should be said in Aramaic because then it's it, it has it it receives all all its beauty and uh, and its depth and its blessings and. Uh, I always say oh, to all my Christian friends, you know, guys, learn learn Aramaic. At least learn learn the our Lord's prayer in in, in Aramaic, yeah. and then uh, and then you you know the translation already. But uh, you know, say it say it at the, as as Jesus. I mean, and then as he would have. the same words exactly the same words like, like he said. You know, there's there's even the the connection is even stronger. You know, what I'm saying it's like it's like something that like. Uh, it's like you know, I, I'm a specialist of manuscripts, and sometimes I, I have in my hand manuscripts that are written like a thousand years ago, and it's like mm -hmm. a, a direct connection to the writer. Yeah. It's something yeah, that it's above, like it it blows your mind. You know, what I'm saying it's like oh, yes, it's like I touch this guy, I touch the, or this woman. Sometimes the woman who wrote. But anyway, I you know have a direct direct link to it, to 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 the the. The, the one who wrote it and he went to the author and it's the same with jesus when you, you say the exact same words that he said you are you know, more direct direct connection you know it helps to 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 direct the, to to strengthen the link you know that uh, like you kind of have a direct link i mean I, i'm an advocate for for liturgical languages and, and old languages because they are charged with a lot of Conscious energy, you know, there's this 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 huge this energy that is has been put in it, and it 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 has it functions, you know, as as a prayer or as a something that that will transform us. Yes. Hmm. Beautiful. I think you're giving me an indirect sign because I had found a brother through my research who had translated the Lord's Prayer um, from Aramaic, and and he was showing just how it's it's it's, it's quite different um <clears throat> and i was like i want to talk to him i want to like learn more about this so i feel indirectly that's my nudge to like get in contact with him because i agree i feel like really um getting back to the roots as much as possible and having it to be in the context for which it was given and the language that it was mm -hmm. given adds also that just energetic element to it that is transformational and so i i'm a big believer about preserving things um as well um even in my own work so that's incredible and i want to point out what you just said too um before that about being you guys just be first and like you don't worry about the having or the doing or anything like that i feel like that's like something that jesus has been teaching me to do myself that the number one most important thing is for me to just be as i was created like just be here just be myself and from being here and being my full being presence like i will do from that being place like things will come from that being place but i don't need to be concerned about the doing and the having that's not my concern that's god's concern my concern is to allow myself to just be who i am and to be in the presence and available for him and everything else just kind of happens from that being place so i loved hearing that it's a, it's a verse in the bible you know says it say god says uh, uh, because you you not do not say in your heart that my strength and the the the, the strongness or the power of my hands uh, made the this success that I had. You know, mm -hmm. this is God. God gave us, and we we kind of we have only the power to choose. Which you know, we, we choose between this and that, and God does it he makes it he mean he makes it happen we know we don't have to 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 worry about that you know we just, just have ask ask god for the 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 right the right choice you know that that yeah. we, we we 
we we make the right choice because the our choices aren't always between white and, and black it's we can we can between gray and grayer yeah it's so <laughs> true okay so which one is is the one that that will lead to more blessings and more opening and more more consciousness and so on and so on so, so we ask for for his his direction and he and and then we choose but then uh, after that god does does the does the rest you know we yeah. don't have to worry about that oh yes exactly <laughs> um so this is another interesting question and i find so many brothers answer it differently but it blows my mind every time i hear it i just love it but um how would how do you view jesus's role as teacher of humanity mm. or do you see him in a role as teacher of humanity like what does that yes how, yes, yeah, yes, yes you know the there, there's a there's a rabbi in the Middle Ages that's called, uh, who is called Maimonides, and he said Jesus opened the way to accepting the idea, the concept of Messiah to, to to humanity. Because before that, Messiah was only known for like uh, this small nation that's, uh, that's uh, called Jews, you know, that right. live in the, a small corner of the world, that's in the, in the, in the, somewhere in the Middle East, you know, that's called Holy Land anyway, but it's very small. And then suddenly it's like uh two two billion two 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 three and i mean i mean a lot of people they believe in in this idea of messiah uh, which is fantastic because when the messiah as as the messiah naked idea now is, is shared by a lot of people in the world i, I heard that even the, the hindus have a kind of a similar concept and it exists in the in islam it's called mahdi and so on and so on so i mean humankind now is ready for this this uh eschatological person a figure to 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 be to unveil to mm -hmm. us and uh, and we like jews also we wait for the messiah but we don't believe jesus was the messiah but uh, i do believe jesus was the kind of messiah for a, a lot of a lot a big part of humankind you know even if it wasn't the messiah that we as a concept we say it's not the messiah we we wait we wait for but anyway so when the messiah will come or come back or anyway will will god will reveal the messiah uh, the messiah will be the same for everybody you know mm. being, and and uh, the messiah will come with prophets and they will make everybody like agree okay that's that's him or her you know why not you know the, I'm, I'm open for I'm I'm ready for a Messiah as a woman, you know, a woman mm -hmm. Messiah. I think the world is ready for a woman Messiah. It will be great. It will be like God's humor, you know. Say, okay, you you waited for a man. Now I send you a woman, and she's she will be a good Messiah. Anyway, <laughs> and we, uh, I like I it. We're ready for that. <laughs> we're getting there. We're being prepared for it. <laughs> I love it. I um I I this is this is that's a that's a great way to look at it too. That he kind of um brought the idea or the open-mindedness to a messiah to a greater audience let's just say a greater humanity let's just say and i don't know I like, like muslims muslims say that jesus is a prophet okay uh we jews we 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 kind of we you know we we cannot be clear about it because um jesus came after a lot like the 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 the, the bible was closed you know as as uh, a prophetic book so i mean we have only our, our own ideas you know our concept to to say so we may say jesus is great and you know, uh, so i mean there were there were there were a lot of uh, of um, you know ideas among rabbis especially that there was kind of a at the beginning and you know on the third third and fourth century here in 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 the mediterranean when when the roman empire became christian and then the Christians wanted to convert everybody, you know. And so mm. we Jews, we had kind of to react. So there was always a, a complicated story between Jews and Christians throughout history until now. And now it's it's, it's been appeased, and it, uh, there's a lot of of dialogue and comprehension and, and understanding between us. And so now we can say, you know, like uh, a piece, like there were there were a lot of rabbis that say that Jesus is a great spiritual figure, mm -hmm. and if we follow what say what you know what uh, has been revealed in the Quran, say God, is, Jesus is a prophet. So I mean, yeah, he he has the state, the the this this prophetic figure and this messianic figure because he, uh, Jesus uh, helped to elevate and 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 
to to uh, hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of people to attain sainthood. So uh, Christians, there are many Christian saints, and I, I have I have uh, when I was a, a rabbinical student, I had a ro- an old rabbi, an old mystic rabbi, and he he, he said to me, Gabriel, if you know, want to know if a religion is a something that is godly i mean wanted by god and still has uh, uh, has godly blessings in it you have to to look for saints if if there are saints in this region i mean if this region is able to uh, make uh, uh, create saints and uh, to, for people to attain sainthood uh, throughout this religion so it's a, it's a true religion otherwise no it's just a, it's just a, a cult yeah, and it's not a religion so i mean uh, so this is how and christians christianity uh, created many saints i mean um, and so i mean so, so it's a, it's an okay religion for us you know as a, <laughs> I like that saint. yeah 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 i like that i i can get behind that 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 makes sense to me <clears throat> Beautiful. Um, so I'm kind of at like the last question here, and I kind of want to rephrase it maybe a little bit. Um, because what is is your understanding in regards to, to Jesus? Do you still feel like he is like alive and like we can communicate with him and like, you know, have direct communication with him now. And that kind of maybe part of like your mystical experience or like, what is your view around communication with Jesus? Of course, Jesus is alive, of course, because we say, we say uh, a saint, even if the, the, the saint is dead on the, on the physical level, the saint is always alive, always. Yeah. So uh, a person of this spiritual uh, level of course is alive and especially that's the archetypal jesus yeah, which is which is the uh, an incarnation of god of course this this thing this this thing i don't know how to call it this 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 image this this uh, this archetype is alive this, it, not, not only it's alive but it's it's loving and then it's 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 um like full of light and it it feeds a lot of people in their heart you know mm-hmm. a lot of christians they have a, a living jesus in their heart and they they, they embody the, the the teachings of of christ and in a beautiful way so i mean of course jesus is alive as long as as long as there will be christians jesus is alive you know you guys <laughs> make it alive and 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 jesus life like he shares his life with you guys so i mean it's 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 beautiful we we connect with the same source through another channel but it's the same you know what i'm saying it's like yep. yeah, it's okay because yep. all the channels they finally they go to the same which is god so love that it's okay we have another cord but it's still branched to the same the same thing that's i'd love that <clears throat> that we each have different cords that are connecting to the same source like amen mm. it's like a different telephone line <laughs> like you have a different number we're all calling the same place exactly exactly yeah i like that i like that 999 jude you <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, this has been so wonderful. So that's all my questions for you. But is there anything else that's just on your heart or that's just coming to you in the moment that you would like to to share or offer to us as just some other insights that might be might be helpful to our listeners today? Yeah, I just would like to to offer this this Lord prayer in uh, as as um, I, I I learned it in uh, and it's in Aramaic. It's the Galilean accent because you know Jesus. I mean, his and his disciples they they spoke uh, Galilean Aramaic, so it's a it's a branch of Aramaic which is called Western Aramaic, with the Galilean accent. And mm-hmm. of course, when he he gave the Lord's prayer to his disciples, it was in this Galilean accent, which evolved little by little and was 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 um, the the Aramaic that Jesus spoke later on became what is called Syriac. And uh, all the, the Assyrian and Syriac churches, they pronounce the, the Our Lord's Prayer, but with a slightly different accent because they spoke another, another an Aramaic that is not the, exactly the same dialect that Jesus spoke. So I will, I will just share it you know, as an offering oh, and as I a would blessing. I love that. Yes, please. So it's chanted with an, also in a very old old tune that is transmitted through uh, Christian traditions in the, in the, Christians in, in the Middle East. 
So it goes like that. Avun de Mishmayol has got the Shamor Tise Malakusor Lehua Savior Ehan no de Vishmayol of Barra Havlan Lahmo da Sun Conan Yomana Washvon Kalan Hovan Ehan no of Hanan Shavakan Lahayovan ولا ثعل لنا لنسيان إلا فصل من بيشا مطول دزلخي مركوسا وحيلا وسجبحتا لعلم عالمين آمين. Now you know the, you know the, the translation because it's, <laughs> it's the <laughs> everyone knows <laughs> over here. Anyway, yeah. but but uh, this is the original and it is a beautiful army, beautiful language. It has, it has, you know, you, you, you understand when you know the language, you understand the depth of why this word was chosen and not the other one. And it, the, the proof that is the original is that when people try to translate back, you know, make a retro translation of like from Greek or, or any other language into Aramaic, they don't fall into exactly the, the same words that, that were transmitted through, through the, 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 the Aramaic liturgy. So mm -hmm. it proves that is the, it is the original anyway. Mm. Oh my goodness. What what I loved about just listening and just taking in that prayer is it was more of like a song. You know, I felt like you were like just singing and, and that I always kind of attribute God in a sense to be like the song of just like life. And and so it was really beautiful. Like I can even I I, I don't understand the words per se. I mean I could translate it in my head, but I, I don't want to do that. But just being in the moment with you just praying in that way, you really get carried. Like I found myself just being just carried into into the heart and, and into the moment. Your so. prayers, prayers should be sung. I mean, mm. in the in the Middle East, you know, be be you Jewish or Christian or Muslim, you know, we we chant the prayers. They are sung, you know, and it's mm. very beautiful. And it should be always like that because when you sing, you your heart is open and you kind of goes beyond conceptual mind you know you kind of do something else you don't try to think in the, in the, the mental mentalistic you know mind man way well, okay i say that no you you sing and then so suddenly the heart is open and 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 the, the prayer goes very deep you know mm -hmm. and then and then what happens is that there's a transformation is that not not it's not you that pray is that the prayer praised through you yes. and that's a, that's something uh, amazing you know that's something that suddenly is like it's like uh, a, a, you know uh, we, you we can say that uh, prayer is a um, a kind of a, a self echo something like that you know it's god praying through you because intimately ultimately we we are god you know anyway that's the message if there's one message that jesus gave us that okay guys you Meaning your God's image, meaning your God. This is it because God, God is infinite, and you cannot like divide God. So if you're like just a, a spark of God, you're God in, yeah. in entirety. Like like the like the you know on the, on the ocean, and the the drop is also the whole, the entire ocean. You know, yes. it can be it can be if you open your consciousness. So when you arrive through this level, you know, through like be open, and then suddenly prayer prays through you and you become prayer and then this, this is a wonderful gift oh so beautifully said oh thank you for everything i'm just so grateful for this conversation and everything that you shared with us and i know it's going to speak to a lot of people who are going to be watching this as well so thank you so much Rabbi. thank you very much thank you very much god bless you all and you know it was a pleasure uh, to share this with you and it's the one of the first time in the world you know that i share that because oh, I'm so sometimes honored. i share that with some you know very close friends and people yeah. we may understand but i say you know this is a gift god gave yeah. us a gift and we should we have to share it and then may we, uh, we all live like uh, better with each other you know we, because yeah. when you understand the, the other and then, then you kind of you come to respect and then respect come to, comes to 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 love, yeah. you know, and then we arrive to this loving kindness and compassion that we we all live all together and 
every every human being is my brother and my sister anyway you know, we share we are exactly the same like the members of one body you know when if i hurt my finger i don't say oh a finger hurts no it's my finger so every human every human being like sister or brother human they're me they're, yeah. they're, they're, this is we are exactly the same oh that's one of my prayers that I say almost every day, like, let me know my brother as myself. Like my brother is myself. My sister is myself. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. Amen. Perfect. Beautiful. Brittany, God bless you. You, you do a great job. And I mean, I mean it's, it's wonderful what you do and you, you enlightened everyone that, that, that listens to you and uh, you are uh, uh, through God, uh, uh, through Jesus, uh, uh, believer uh jesus you know you embody jesus's uh, uh, virtues and mm. this is beautiful to see that and you know may you continue i bless you you know may you continue and to do this wonderful keep up the good work as as you guys say <laughs> this, oh. is, this is magnificent thank you thank you that means a lot and i really i take that in and i appreciate it and oh i'm so grateful to you god bless you thank you thank you very much guys <laughs> Thank yes. you. Bye, everyone. Bye.